Welcome back to the Christian Boys. For y'all, this probably seems like no time, really, but for us, it's been years. <laughs> it's so Millennia. long. Oh my goodness! I know. <laughs> it has been a long time, though. Yeah, I know. It feels weird almost being back. It's like, oh, we're back I home. <laughs> I kind of feel a little nervous. Nervous. It's just been a long time, you know. Mm-hmm. Like it's the first time in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> How oh you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, I'm Brenton. That's Jacob, per mm-hmm. usual. Yep. Good to be back. And uh, kind of what we're going to start off with, I think, is a little update on, on multiple different things. But do you kind of want to start us off with the update on our channel and kind of just what's going on? Yeah. So mm-hmm. we uh, last year we gave a channel update just kind of saying like, hey, here's where we're at and here's what our plans are for the future. So we just kind of wanted to do that again uh, for the end of this year and moving into 2024. So as of today, the Christian boys has 525 subscribers just so that we have uh, this documented for history. And we've done that in 175 videos and that does count shorts. Those are a lot shorter videos, but we have quite a few long term, like long teaching videos as well. Mm -hmm. It's been a fun year. It's been a really fun year. Yeah. Um, and I think, uh, on that too, we've got some plans for the future as well for some of our videos, um, and just kind of some heads up on what we're looking to do. Obviously, today is another podcast style form, and we'll do some more of this as, as well. But yeah. as far as our teachings go, I know something we kind of want to do is more of a um, basics of Christianity, I guess we'll call it. Um, and that essentially is like if you're brand new to the faith. What are the things you need to get you up to speed on Christianity? Yeah. And I think this comes from a place of us looking at it going, okay, you know, there's a lot of people we're reaching that need to know more than uh, what we've already shared and to get them up to speed on terms and multiple different things. Do you want to explain um, why? Like what the, what yeah, the focus so, is? So, so I've met certain people in my life that um, have started – learning this stuff, but honestly just have no idea on like, what are these terms even meaning? Like everything is just over their head because they've never dealt with Christianity. And I realized, oh, we need to do something that shows the literal basics, like 101 down to the nitty gritty, like what even is Christianity like at its roots, you know, Mm -hmm. Uh, and start defining terms that we kind of take for granted because I think that happens really easily in the church, you know, the Christianese. And I know we've done video similar to that before. So I'm not just specifically saying terms, but actually breaking down these concepts in Christianity that, again, I think we kind of take for granted. So that's kind of my goal in it. Well, there's a lot of concepts in the mm-hmm. modern West that have been derived from Christianity. Like the, the only reason that mm-hmm. we think the way we do about ethics and about like equality and, and equal rights and things like that, all of that stems from a Christian um, like a Christian core, you mm-hmm. know, like all of what Western society is grew out of predominantly Christian ethics. Yeah. Right. And so like we take for granted a lot of the terms and a lot of the theology and a lot of the kind of like way of seeing the world that is just inherent to Christianity mm-hmm. that a lot of other cultures in the world don't really see, mm-hmm. you know, because like they don't have those deep Christian roots. And so I think that we just kind of have our eyes kind of a little bit blinded to it in some, some aspects. But when you meet somebody like internationally who doesn't have that same lens, mm-hmm. you start running into issues of like, just cause you think you're talking the same terms that you both have this, this common dictionary of knowledge uh, that we're just words are just already have the, the, the definition put in your head. And they're just like, Hey, what, what is that? I don't even know what that is. And mm-hmm. I'm like, Oh, I mean all the way down to saying, uh, Jesus Christ or God, like Mm -hmm. they just think of, you know, oh, that's just another prophet or just one of the gods that are available out there. Or maybe they don't even know what we mean by God. Yeah, exactly. You know, like Mm -hmm. God is such a, such a vague term. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, have you ever read any or like listened to any of Dr. Michael Heiser? A little bit, a little bit. Well, he, Mm -hmm. he's awesome. So go look him up. He actually passed away this year, unfortunately. That really made me sad, but uh, his work is fantastic. He likes to give the point that the letters G O D, whenever we see that in the West, we automatically import a certain idea of who God is. Like he's mm-hmm. omnipotent and he's omnipresent and he's all sovereign and like all these different ideas. We just automatically put that on the letters G O D, regardless mm-hmm. of the circumstance, right? Throughout history, the the definition of what God is or what the idea of a God is mm-hmm. has morphed and changed a lot. Now it's been consistent through Judaism into Christianity up until today. Um, that's been the same, Mm -hmm. but if you don't have that preconceived idea in your head of what God means, we could be talking past each other really quick. 
Yes. So yes. we need to go back to the basics and break down even the stuff that we take for granted. Like who is God even? You know, like that might mm-hmm. be where a good place to start. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Talking about the one true God of Israel. Okay, mm-hmm. why do you worship him? Like, yeah. you know, because it, it gets... It, the why can take you down a rabbit hole really quickly. And yeah, I think that, the weeds pretty quick. Yeah. And, but I think to a certain degree, we need to get into some of the weeds because it's like, it, when I'm talking about basics, I'm like exactly what you're saying, that there is a cultural disconnect that we need to make sure that we're not talking past people. Mm. Um, and obviously we'll get into more deeper content <laughs> we've done in the past, yeah. but I, I think there's a good chance for us to, uh, kind of step back and say, hey, let's let's really dig into some of this stuff that would help people get ahead. And maybe even some things that we take for granted that, you know, uh, people may have missed. Yeah. Um, because it's like, oh, that's just so simple. No big deal. But in or reality, just, like, you hear it so often that you're just, it just mm-hmm. becomes kind of cliche. Yes, exactly. Like breaking down what the exactly like what cliches actually mean. And like I know sometimes uh, we start talking about certain things that deal with Christianity it can be watered down, but once you actually start reading the scriptures and pull the things out into your own life, and you and you start saying the cliches, but you're like, yeah, but oh, I don't I've mean ever, it like the cliche. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. You're yeah. like, I no, I truly mean this. Like, I don't mean it like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like it's not it's mm-hmm. not this like kind of lifeless thing that I'm just throwing in here because I have to. It's because I actually mean it. Yeah. And it's like, and you know what I've really noticed recently is that I'll I'll use a word like holy mm-hmm. or like glory. Or like these these huge biblical concepts that we just toss around like carelessly all the time. And I'll use them with all this context of like what the Bible means when it says that. And what all this research that I've done over the years has imported that into my understanding. But then I realize that there's a disconnect with the person I'm talking to because they just hear the cliche. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, we need, to, we need to be creative enough to come up with words that mean consistently what the Bible means when it talks about ideas that have become cliche, but that get across the depth of the knowledge of God, you know, mm-hmm. like I, I, I don't know if I'm creative enough to do that, but I think we as a culture need to do better about that. Well, and specifically, I was actually thinking about like when you die to yourself every day or you, you pick that's up your cross one. every day, like mm-hmm. that type of thing. Like I think it does become a cliche because it's like you hear, you hear it a lot, but then when you actually look at what that means, oh, it's so deep. Yeah. It's so the weight of the consequences of that. Yes, it's so meaningful to actually do that and like what that actually looks like in your life mm-hmm. will change the way you think about that, those terms. Yeah. But then when you start saying it to someone else, their mind might be going back to those cliches. So that's kind of what we want to do is is break some of those barriers down yeah. and, and kind of bring back this divide in the, in the <laughs> culture and in the context of certain uh, topics. So, so you're going to be kind of taking the lead on that. Yeah. yeah. What's mm-hmm. uh, Where do you kind of want to start? Like, where's, where's kind of like the, the grounding point? Well, kind of what I said earlier about who is the God of Israel, mm. you know, like where is our religious foundation? It's through the God of Israel and yeah. through the promises and through the prophecies. And it's like all these things trickle down into what we have today is, is Christianity and what Christ did for us. But you have to start with first, who is God? Yeah. You know, so like that is actually kind of where I'm going to be going in the beginning. Yep. Um, <laughs> it's always a good place to start. Mm-hmm. It's like in the beginning, the ultimate mm-hmm. reality of who God is mm-hmm. should be supreme when it comes to any conversation regarding religion, mm-hmm. regarding Christianity, regarding Christ. You yeah. have to start with who is God, mm-hmm. you know, because from there flows everything else. Yeah. So hopefully it'll be some really good videos, some really good breakdowns, and we'll just kind of talk through these things and, and hopefully give those that want to hear it, you know, um, uh, maybe the things that they're missing. Yeah. And, and also in that, if you hear something, you're like, you know, Hey, I think you kind of explained this, but I, I would like more detail, like throw that in a comment because we will do our best to be able to answer it. If we can, of course, if we don't know something, we're going to say, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> um, Good luck. But God give can, you wisdom. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> um, but if we can figure something out that maybe we missed, of course we want to dive into it. So yeah, um, yeah, it's kind of more or less what uh, what I'm looking to, to lead up this year. What are you looking to lead up? So I have this idea, mm-hmm. and uh, it's still in its very early stages. Mm-hmm. But I've talked to our the pastor at our church about this, and I'm seeing if we can get this rolling. But my idea for uh, 2024, I do want to try to finish the first John study. I've been mm-hmm. doing it for like two years now, so mm-hmm. you really gotta, I gotta get back to that, you know? Mm-hmm. Like I gotta just finish it off. I've only got like seven or eight videos left. Mm-hmm. Um, but 
great book. If, by the way, if you haven't read First John, please go read it. It's like it's been transformative in my life. But um, anyway, so that that will be on the docket for 2024. But also, I want to engage our church in a kind of more informal sense of like, hey, here is the practical things that you need in order to go out into the world confident in your faith. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and some of it will focus on apologetics. Some of it will focus on biblical exegesis. Some of it will focus on just cultural ideas that we need to examine and understand as Christians. But I kind of want to call it equip mm-hmm. and kind of just help equip our church. Cause I kind of can't, my heart's at new heart, you mm-hmm. know, like my heart is right here where mm-hmm. this guy's got his sweatshirt. <laughs> <laughs> so I really want our church to be equipped mm-hmm. to go out into the world and to make disciples. Yeah. And so that is what I want to do with the next mm-hmm. year. And obviously both of these sets of videos we're going to be doing together uh, because we're the boys, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't catch me without my boy, my you know, <laughs> but, uh, but that, that said, uh, mm-hmm. we, we plan to each kind of take the lead on one of these things. And then the other will kind of just be here to be the wingman mm-hmm. and add some additional comments and things like that and help, uh, help bring it, help flesh it out and bring it to life. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Cause I think that's something that's really cool. Maybe I think we've talked about it a little bit, but um, maybe not on here though. Uh, just to like how Jesus always sent out in twos, you know, and how powerful that is to actually go out in twos in ministry and be able to, you know, sharpen mm-hmm. each other as we're, you know, trying to bring Christ to the world. Like that's you're my such Andrew cool... to my Simon. <laughs> I'm Peter. Mm-hmm. You're yeah, Andrew. Of course, of course. Because you're <laughs> I, a little crazy. <laughs> I'm James. You're John. <laughs> uh, what? No. What did the What did the one guy call us? Uh, Oh, uh, Paul and Barnabas, <laughs> yeah. which I, I don't know. I mean, both are a huge compliment, but I, I think that like, most people want to be Paul. So if you want to be Paul, you can, <laughs> right? you can take that. Mm-hmm. But like Barnabas was like the encourager, man. Mm-hmm. Like X talks about him with very high regard. So like, yeah. I think both are a huge compliment. So yeah. If you want to check out like kind of that though, you can go check out Co-Thought. They've got some cool videos over there. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, we're just gonna have some fun this year and hopefully, put out uh, some pretty meaningful content. Um, ultimately, you know, these are things we've got to study for and prepare and, and present. Um, just a heads up as well, you know, our, our content may be a little bit different on how it's released just because we're going to really try and put some study into these these topics. You know, we'll, we'll yeah. try and release as much as we can, but life, uh, you know, gets in the way. So well, I um, think we, we're trying to, we, we from the beginning have been mm-hmm. taking cues from Mike Winger mm-hmm. and when the man it takes a whole year <laughs> to make one video, I think that we need to focus more. And we, Jacob yeah. agrees, we mm-hmm. both need to focus more on depth over mm-hmm. breadth. You know, mm-hmm. so like we're trying to go real deep and just real thoughtful and really well informed. Per, package up these videos in a way that is is really informative and really helpful for the body. Mm-hmm. Uh, and sometimes this means we're going to take you know, a month on a video. Sometimes it means we're going to take a week. It just depends on how much uh, study is involved in the topic and how mm-hmm. much uh, how much we think that we can present. But from here on, we're going to be trying to use um, the wisdom that the Holy Spirit provides us and how we actually move forward with these teachings. Yeah. And I think that's a great uh, turning point to what we're going to talk about next. But right before we do, though, I had to throw more shameless plug in there. Potentially, I'm going to be working on doing a devotional uh, on Instagram. So those that can get on Instagram, it'll be in the mornings, uh, Tuesday, Thursdays is what I'm looking to do. Uh, I have some things coming that'll make that uh, available for me to do. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so be sure to do two things: mm-hmm. follow the Instagram page, mm-hmm. subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got a lot of great stuff coming out next year. Yeah, so just be looking for that. It'll be after the first of the year, but uh, it'll be a devotional. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, it'll be live in the mornings, um, so you got to catch it then. Um, but it'll be a lot of fun. So 